uh, Alan Jacoby, uh, MyPatriotCigars.com. Uh, Alan, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we certainly appreciate you being here. Let's start with the debt ceiling. Uh, here you are with a perspective, you know, sort of outside, New, you know, the New York City media, outside the Washington, D.C. Beltway in the swamp. They just keep spending more and more money. You got, I think, 71 House Republicans who stood up. But even Marjorie Taylor Greene voted for this. Even Jim Jordan voted for this. And I think we have a lot of people in our audience saying enough is enough with all this damn spending. What do you think this morning? No, I agree. And I was on a Twitter space uh, last night with uh, Congressman George Santos and Congressman Matt Gates, oh. and uh, they both voted no. And George Santos went uh, into great detail on why, you know, his constituents, which I'm one of them, we pay some of the highest taxes in New York. Uh, you know, the, the he, he was looking for something with his uh, his salt bill to be in there. And he's the only New York congressman that voted no on it. And I'm, I'm happy he did along with Matt Gates and many others. When is the spending going to stop? You know, they they want to weaponize the IRS that they say they want to go after the rich and the wealthy to pay their fair share, which we all know is a lie. They I mean, they, they want to go after conservative owned businesses. And I'm, I'm worried about that because I am a conservative owned business. Mm. I'm from New York and I I'm not happy that you know, one point, I think it was 1.4 billion was cut out of the 80 billion dollars they're giving to the IRS. You know, not to mention we, we right. already, you know, it's a fraction. The, the it's nothing. The it's absolutely nothing. Karen's going to. You know. Yeah. Go ahead. Karen's, yeah. I mean, Karen's I'm just I was absorbing the whole George Santos thing and saying to myself, well, you know, it's been a lot of controversy around him. It's good to see that he's representing the people in his district. And right. that you feel that way. And voted because, no. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are surprised at the Jim Jordan and MTG move. I, I wonder what you think about that. Is that what what's behind that, mm. in your opinion? Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm not really surprised about where I was a fan, not so much anymore uh, over the whole speaker vote. Listen, I'm not a fan of Kevin McCarthy. I don't want to see him removed, however, and a lot of people are surprised that I'm saying that because I think that just gives the Democrats and the Biden administration something to go after Republicans on. I think they just need to tighten it up. But as far as, you know, Jim Jordan, very surprised in his support of it. But I also believe maybe they just don't want to see a government shutdown, which I get as well because we're going into the summer and if we go into a shutdown how many government employees are going to have to show up to work and not get paid how many services are going to be cut you can't go to you know national parks and things like that which uh, to be honest i wouldn't mind seeing a shutdown just to send that message okay we're going to run out of money on june 5th and it may sound harsh but i kind of wish we did run out of money to show what are we doing in this country how much more are we going to send to ukraine how much more are we going to try to spend on you know energy uh green energy deals and and wokeism in schools and things like that i mean it's yeah. getting crazy is it going to get better i don't know i'm not an economist but i'm worried for my bottom line as a business owner and for my family i pay a lot of taxes on long island a lot and I don't want to no go to the grocery store and spend more money to get less for my family. 